Today we pick up our Bible study in Mark chapter 6, verses 21 through 29. In Mark chapter 6, verses 21 through 29 is the detailed death of John the Baptist. as It was requested by Herodias' daughter as directed by her mother. Uh, we have learned that Herodias was at odds with John the Baptist because he, he spoke openly about his disapproval of her marriage to King Herod. So we learned in Mark chapter 6, verses 17 through 19. The Bible teaches us in Mark chapter 6, verses 26 and 27, that King Herod was exceedingly sorry for having John the Baptist beheaded, but he had made a promise to Herodias' daughter to give her whatever she wanted up to half his kingdom. So we learn in Mark chapter 6, verse 23. This is why King Herod believed that Jesus was the reincarnated John the Baptist. This is an example of the powers of public pressures to influence our decisions. King Herod, I believe, would never have had John the Baptist killed, as we have learned that he enjoyed hearing the wisdom and teachings from John the Baptist, as we learned in Mark chapter 6, verse 20. But in the excitement of the moment, King Herod made a promise that he should not have made. He was exhibiting his power and authority as king to impress his guests. So we see in Mark chapter 6, verse 21, and in verse 26. It was not, however, simply King Herod's own self-righteous seeking that caused the death of John the Baptist. It was also the evils that lurk in the hearts of those with which Satan has planted the seeds of hate and discontent. We must guard our hearts against such evils and be aware of the wiles of the devil by putting our faith in Jesus. The Bible teaches us in 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6 through 9, as I quote from the New King James Version, Therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings which are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. Put your faith in Jesus today, and he will save you from the wiles of the devil and give you a new life of forgiveness from sin, leading to life eternal. As we know from John chapter 3, verse 16. Dear Lord, please help us to see that our words and our promises hold consequences that may be out of our control when used improperly. Please help us to adapt and implement in our lives the words in obedience to Jesus as he commands in John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.